Hello students, welcome to the session. This is Shweta Roy, your English master teacher at Vedantu. I hope all of you are doing super amazing. So today we will be starting with the very first session on a beautiful chapter, my greatest Olympic prize, which is from your ICSC grade 10. Right, so this beautiful piece of work, it's a beautiful chapter and a very, with a very good moral lesson for all of us, which is very appropriate and relevant in today's modern context. We can definitely apply this in our life. It is, it's going to teach us a very important lesson. So please understand the lesson and also try to inculcate this in your life, right? So today we will be dealing with the first session where we will be discussing the summary and we will be analyzing the session or the, the entire chapter. In the next session, we will be discussing important concepts and character sketches along with, okay, and then and the third session is going to be, sorry, this would be session three, not two. This would be on practice questions, right? So, yeah, this is how we tend to complete this entire chapter and I hope you will be enjoying each and every session. All right, guys, so I'll begin with a beautiful quote, which is going to trigger something in your mind. So please try to understand this quote. Everybody loves you until you become competition. How many of you agree with this? Don't you think that even your best friend sometimes becomes your competitor? Let's say, um, you know, in some sports or any event when you both are participating, do you feel that, you know, this feeling of competition, okay, competitive nature, it intrudes in your uh, relationship with your friends, I mean, your friendship, do you think so? Sometimes it does happen. How far would you agree with the same? And this reminds me of a movie, a very famous movie, Three Idiots, right, where uh, you know, there was a dialogue where, you know, uh, it said that when your, when your friend fails, okay, in examination or something like that, of course, you become sad. But you become even more sad if your friend, uh, you know, has, uh, your friend gains the first position and you cannot, right? So, do you remember that? Point. If yes, then please do mention it in the chat box and also comment on what you feel in this regard. So uh, in this scenario, in this background, which we have set right now about competition and friendship. So we will see what exactly is this lesson going to teach us and how is this going to help us in, uh, in, in retaining our friendship and, you know, lessening this competitive spirit when it comes to friendship. Right. So let us see what is does so definitely i'm not saying that competitiveness is i mean comp being competitive is bad of course it's a world of competition definitely but how important is true friendship and how how does true how important role you know uh, uh, you know true friendship plays in our life that is also very important at the same time so this is a piece which is going to teach this right so my greatest olympic prize is first of all a true story of the writer's life. Jesse Owens, he's the writer, right? It's an autobiographical account of Jesse Owens's experience of true friendship. So this is one of the most important theme. Okay. And in the Berlin Olympics 1936, where he won four gold medals. Okay. So he had won four gold medals. To, so what is he talking about when he is talking about my greatest Olympic prize? It does bring, you know, it does uh, arouse a question in our mind. If he had won four gold medals, then what is he talking about? I mean, the greatest Olympic prize, which, what was that? We will see to it. We will see to it. So let us see. Let us look at the summary of the beautiful story. So Hitler, it is definitely set on, uh, in that uh, background. The background is that of uh, the World War and, you know, Nazi Germany rising to power, right? So definitely, you know that Hitler was the profounder of the Aryan, uh, you know, superiority of the Aryan race, right? So he wanted his people to win so that he could propound the superiority of the Aryan race. So that, uh, you know, the, the Germans would win the maximum gold medals and that would give rise, I mean, that would retain the superiority uh, or prove the superiority of the Aryan race. But Jesse Owens, who was a black um, American, he had 
he was determined to prove this theory he was very angry and furious uh, you know he was furious with this theory of hitler right and he wanted to win gold medals one or, or two of those gold medals right so he was definitely trained hard he trained hard he was uh, he had trained himself hard and disciplined himself because after all it was an olympics right for 6 years Moreover a year before the grand event he had also set a record of 26 feet 8 and 8 and 1/4 inches in running a uh, board jump at his university so definitely it was expected that he would win in the game easily and so you will uh, uh, definitely tell me uh, i will ask you a question sometime later but before you, before this guys do you want to join us and gain 100% knowledge and score 100% marks if yes you have to click on the link in the description box and pin comment and you can have unlimited classes with fun and high level quizzes you can compete with the students throughout the world and you can have interactive replays with live quizzes and leaderboards you can also download the premium content that is the downloadable that which is very 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 much download uh, sorry downloadable and it has got handwritten notes of the master teacher so definitely you can download that and that is going to solve one of the most important issues that you face that is notes the problem of notes no proper notes right so this is going to solve this and you can also have your doubts clarified in the class and after each and every session you will get an assignment which is going to give structure to your education and you can get 5000 plus micro courses and crash courses for free for competitive exams that too in less price so you just need to visit the link in the description box and the pin comment and use the coupon code swrepro and this is something super exciting for all of you guys you just need to visit the link in the description box and you can avail a discount of 50% from 20th december to 27th december that is the christmas sale super duper exciting offer guys so do not miss this out and this brings the price down to being only 6 rupee per class and 8 for, for one month and 8 rupees per class for three months which is going to give you even you know it's going to be even lesser than a packet of lays right so this is the magical part that this coupon code will give you guys okay so you will get only at 1349 for for a month and 4999 for a uh, for 3 months so hurry up guys and avail the 50% off okay so this is the link in the description box please do visit and use the coupon code swrepro now giving you 50% off and this is a limited offer guys so hurry up and this is a great opportunity for you because these two years are very crucial and you have to make your base very strong so that it remains with you for future so we are not just aiming for your board exams but of course we are aim is long term right so please don't forget to visit the link and get yourselves enrolled So here you go with the story. So resuming the story, when Jesse re- reached Britain and went to the board jump trials, he was surprised to see that an American athlete, who was the athlete Luz Long, he was hitting almost 26 feet at the practice leap. So by seeing this, he was super angry. Okay, he also came to know that Hitler kept him under his wraps. Okay, knowing Hitler's cunning way, he got so very angry, and he was even more determined. So, what was dominating inside him? The feeling of anger, super anger, frustration, because he somehow understood that you know, uh, Lars Long is going to give him a very tough challenge, and more than that, he was angry because he was. you know and un- kept under the wraps of hitler who was uh, proving who, who was determined to prove you know the superiority theory of aryans right so that was definitely you know uh, disturbing uh, jesse a lot so angry athlete definitely is going to make mistakes so definitely jesse started to foul okay the first two trial leaves by me taking off from several inches beyond the line then he thought bitterly did i come 3000 miles for this to foul out of the trials and make a fool of myself but you understand 
what was dominating so what, well now i have a question for you guys here please mention in the chat box why do you think that jesse owens was constantly fouling he was a very good athlete right so why was he not able to perform well please do answer me in the chat box right now so jesse was clearly frustrated and kicked the ground in disgust so he was you know furious furious right just then suddenly he had a hand on his shoulder and who was that man it was none other than las long who had qualified for finals on his first attempt the friendly blue eyed man offered jesse a firm handshake and encouraged him and suggested to leap from a few inches back you can see here he is giving him advice right mind you that he was his rival las long was his rival but still he was giving him advice his tip helped uh, jesse eventually to qualify for finals so now i have another question for you if you had been in place of las long and you see another fellow competitor uh, you know doing the same mistake as jesse was doing what would you have done on that in that situation would you have behaved honestly tell me guys would you have behaved the same as las long did or would you have you know taken advantage of the situation and have won the competition so do tell me this uh, you know right right now in the in the chat box and also tell me okay i will ask you another question uh, after some time so be prepared for that okay so in that night jesse met last to thank him and you know talked about themselves so they started to communicate with each other and jesse came to know also that last did not propagate or believe in that our aryan supremacy theory and then they became very good friends right and uh last really wanted jesse to do his best even if that means that meant jesse winning the competition again reminding you that he was what he was a rival he was a competitor but reminding you of the sportsmanship spirit so what is the characteristic feature that we get from lazlong sportsmanship spirit is he not showing real sportsmanship spirit and don't you think that we get to learn the same from him now tell me would you now change or those of you who said that we would have uh, taken advantage of the situation now tell me don't you think that we should not take advantage of the situation because anyways that is not going to make us you know true sportsmen if we really want to give a tough fight a challenging fight then it should be between equals it should not be between someone who is you know not in a, a very good mood or uh, you know uh, he is because of due to some reason he is not being able to perform nicely right he is not give, uh, giving his best it can only be between two equals right so if you are you know taking advantage of the situation you are also betraying yourself don't you think so guys so now tell me how many of you would now change your ways and act like las long quickly let me know in the chat box and the next day las broke his own fast record and that inspired jesse for a peak performance so see this is real friendship although they were competitors but each one i mean both of them were inspiring each other so don't you think that we require this kind of friend in our life who can inspire our uh, you know us who can motivate us rather than being our rival being our competitor and you know having this feeling of jealousy and all all the ill feelings so please go ahead with the same approach in your life as well even it is you know for a small thing like exams many of Uh, the students show this kind of exhibit this kind of negative feeling of jealousy it doesn't matter uh, education does not always mean you know to gain good degree it also means to inculcate these moral values that is very important it's not just you know training the brain it is also training your heart you should be a good person from your heart so uh, you know if you if you uh inspire and uh, motivate and encourage each other then both of you will you know grow to heights okay so both of you will you know bloom so this exactly the same happened here when he finally landed from his final jump las was the first man there to congratulate him how beautiful is the display of friendship and we get to learn so many things from here 
He shook hands with Jesse firmly, despite the fact that Hitler was watching from the strands. This was a great display of true friendship and sportsman, uh, sportsmanship spirit from Luz. And this is also something that we should inculcate. Okay. So Jesse Owens went on to win four gold medals that year. But he feels that Luz Long's friendship was the greatest Olympic prize which he had won in Britain. So how many of you would love to have this kind of prize? Don't you think that it was truly a, the greatest Olympic prize? The friendship, in fact, their friendship ended only when Long died, unfortunately, in the Second World War. So don't you think that this kind of friend is a precious one? We need to, we need this, these kinds of friends, you know, the, uh, to, uh, in our lives. So if you also... If you think that this is definitely a greatest Olympic prize and if you have this kind of friend in your life, it is going to be very precious for you. You also have to reciprocate the same. Don't you think so, guys? How many of you agree with this? Please do reply in the comment section. So, Owen adds a note after the story that Luz was the perfect example of sportsmanship spirit that Perry D. Corbettin, founder of modern Olympic Games, had in his mind when he said that taking part and fighting well is important, more important than winning or conquering. So, this is applied in your exams as well. In every kind of, you know, in all the field, may be it sports, be it, be it in academics, anything. It is always taking part, participating and giving a tough fight. That is more important, which Luz Long did. Okay. It's, you know, a sports or any event, anything in your life is not about having, you know, uh, in, uh, for showing or exhibiting or, uh, uh, you know, uh, these Ill, Ill feelings like jealousy, like selfishness. Okay. It is more about being the large hearted person. And giving a tough fight, okay? So, education is also something like that, right? So, the more you educate people, the more you spread your knowledge. Please do not keep your knowledge within restricted within yourself. Then it will be coming to an end. Knowledge is something that needs to be shared. So, when I actually tell you to share the video amongst your friends so that your friends can also learn, most of you will, you know, might have uh, thought, why should I give my friend all my notes? Right. So because, you know, the more you speak on any subject, your knowledge is, of course, going to grow. That is why I always try to share. Sharing is caring. It's not just, you know, and you will also be rewarded at the same time. Right. So that was all, guys. And talking about the analysis, it is definitely an autobiographical piece. And the title and it was written in 1960 by the world famous athlete Jesse Owens. The title of the story refers to the friendship of Luz Long as the writer's greatest Olympic prize. Though he won four gold medals, what was the what was the biggest achievement for him? It was the lifelong friendship that was even bigger and greater than whatever he had achieved. Right. So it is set in the backdrop of Berlin Olympics 1936. Okay. True friendship and true sportsmanship spirit, these are the main themes of the story. Please mark this. And the narration and language, they are very straightforward, right? And the author has been able to draw two main characters, which we will do in the next class, definitely. Luz Long and Jesse Owen, right? And he has definitely shown great character in encouraging and helping his rival in difficult situation. And Hitler is definitely shown as a proud and prejudiced administrator. We all know how Hitler is and we all know his ways, right? Jesse went on to prove him wrong, right? But definitely it wouldn't, be impossible, wouldn't have been possible without the broad-mindedness of Luz Long. And we get this lesson from Luz Long. We all need to be very broad-minded, okay? So please drop all your selfishness all your ill feelings, your jealousy and be broad-minded with your friends. If you do the same, you will be also getting the same, okay? So, my greatest Olympic prize has been one of the uh, most honest memoirs in English literature. Please remember this, okay? It boosts one belief in essential human goodness. 
okay so it is definitely boosting one's belief in essential human goodness very 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 important all right guys so i think you enjoyed the chapter not only that you have also learned some very important moral value and the best part is you know to be a very good human being okay and to always have a uh, good feelings right so if you have enjoyed guys please hit the like button and link is there in the description box you can definitely join us and be a part of our vedantu family don't forget to use the coupon code swrepro and this is the homework question we will be taking up from here in the next session guys what why were nationalistic feelings high during the olympic games please mention the answer in the comment section okay guys so now it's time for signing off so please don't forget to like share sharing is caring that is all what we did for today's session and subscribe to the channel and also comment on the homework question at the end of the session so till then bye bye take care